This is important on September 11th. There seems to be a surge of warm and fuzzy over former President George W. Bush. So the Daily Kos has pointed out the obvious, quoting them, George W. Bush ignored screaming sirens before the September 11 terrorist attacks. George W. Bush used those attacks to lie the United States into attacking a nation that had nothing to do with them, and hundreds of thousands of innocents were killed, with millions made refugees. The disaster he created continues. George W. Bush authorized torture. George W. Bush let a great American city drown. George W. Bush ignored climate change and his policies actively made it worse. George W. Bush deregulated everything, attacked unions and the social safety net, and crashed the economy. With a memory dulled by time and with Trump as the comparative, Bush might look better now than he did in 2008. But let's be clear about why he had one of the lowest presidential approval ratings ever recorded. He was a terrible president. And we continue to live with the fallout. We're still at war in Iraq and Afghanistan, now 15 and 17 years later, with no end in sight, because Bush never had an exit plan for his unnecessary wars. During the 2000 primary campaign, Bush attacked John McCain's war record. You have to be clear that as the Vietnam War was raging, instead of going to Southeast Asia, as McCain did, Bush had a fine time flying jets in Texas. Nobody ever fired rockets at him like they did at McCain. And Bush impugned the patriotism of former Senator Max Cleland, Democrat of Georgia, who lost both legs and an arm in Vietnam. That impugning of Cleland and his attack on McCain tell you all you need to know about the character of George W. Bush. You may recall that President Obama campaigned in 2008 on hope and change. And there's a reason his message resonated with the overwhelming majority of Americans. Under Bush, we felt hopeless and were desperate for change. Bush delivered a nice eulogy for McCain, but that doesn't counterbalance what he did before. If your memory needs refreshing, you can visit the 9-11 Memorial in New York and the Flight 93 National Memorial in Shanksville, Pennsylvania and visit the Ninth Ward in New Orleans, or just look at the millions of Middle East refugees flooding the world right now as reminders of his ineptitude. So don't get all nostalgic for George W. Bush and long for him as though those were the good old days and he was up to the task. They weren't and he wasn't. I'm Jack Algerler.